Hi guys. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, which I must say firstly, thank you so much for all the kind comments regarding Baxter and, and his birthday. Um, as I said, I've got this product here, the Hampresso Auto capsule version. So today we've come down to the woods. Baxter just cannot wait to get outside the car. Uh, and what we're going to do, once these people have gone, I shouldn't really be worried about talking into a camera these days when people walk past, you know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox it all again at home so you can see close up what you get in the in the box. But for now, because there's not much space in here anyway, I'm just going to crack on and uh, make a coffee. I've brought my operator's coffee club Nespresso pod holder here. My favourite capsules, which are made from quite a hard plastic. The Nano Presso has no problem at all puncturing these, but the Now Presso really struggled. I bought foil backed ones just in case we have that similar problem with this, but I'll, I'll be able to tell you shortly. I don't know if any of you guys watched my original Hand Presso Auto video. Baxter was a little puppy at the time, he, he was just putting his nose in it and all sorts. And I had to abandon the shoe and come back and do it again. This time he's more bothered about the squirrels out there in the woods. So I've uncoiled the cable. So we've just got to take this, plug it in. See that lights up when it's powered on. Fits nicely into my cup holder. And this feels very nice the way that comes off and on. And you can see there's a little white line there to make sure you've got it locked. Looks like some nice blades, so I don't think there'll be any problems using the plastic rather than the foil based pods. Whoops. <laughs> Got it in gear. So the engine's running. Sorry to those people over there having a picnic 10 feet away from the car park. We've got a symbol here to add the water. Right, so we just take the top off, get our water. Oh, there's a flashing light on there. So I just pour this in. Oh, just put too much in. Well, there you go. That's what happens if you put too much water in. It tells you. There you go. So you've got a green light. That's brilliant. On this first one, I'm going to just use one of these capsules. And just put it in. Whack the top on. There we go. Everything's lined up. Press the power button. Oh yeah. Now there's a bit of a noise as the pump's building the pressure. It says it takes two and a half minutes. The now presso takes about 12 minutes. So there's a big difference there. It's got a little digital display telling you what percentage it's on. There we go. That's that phase done. Now it's just heating it to the right temperature. Wouldn't it be cruel if I just drove back home now and didn't let Baxter go for his walk? He says, Daddy, I want to go chase squirrels in the woods. I do this. You need to do this, chasing squirrels. Very easy to follow guide. Basically says that it's going to bleep three times when it's ready. It says flip the machine around, still plugged in and place it over a cup. Press the espresso button, the motor on your machine starts again in order to keep the pressure necessary to make your espresso. Oh that's interesting, this is the first time that's happened. That it maintains that pressure, it, it, re it restarts the pump and that's definitely an upgrade. The uh, older version, I think once the pressure is built up, oh look there we go. So I'm going to turn it over. And I think we press this button. And there we go, guys. There's a 50 mil max line on there and you can see um, it's just fractionally below it. So using that green light as an indicator of the uh, measurement is pretty damn accurate. It says after you've done it, you tip any excess water out before making another cup. So I'll just do that. 
there's a good amount of length on this cable so you can actually leave that plugged in and reach the door to tip it out. It smells good. It's got a real good temperature to it. Oh yeah, that's that's really nice temperature. A lot of the time with it, with these machines, by the time it comes out, it's almost luke not lukewarm, but it's not hot. It's it's it could be like ten degrees hotter. But this one, that is a really really good temperature. Yeah, that's really. I know, Bax. We're going to go in a minute. I promise. If you like your Nespresso capsules. This machine is probably going to perform just as well as any machine that you've got at home. I mean, it's super quick, two and a half minutes. As with the Hampresso, the original Hampresso, there is a quality to it, there is no doubt. And Nespresso pods do a good job, and you're going to have a tasty coffee. But nothing is going to beat freshly ground, real good quality beans. As I'm at the woods, and I've got all my kit with me, I brought along the hand presso, the manual hand presso. So that's what we're going to do now, guys. Have a go. I love these woods, guys. There's like uh, pines behind me, and then some deciduous trees this way. What I'm going to do, I brought some of the best coffee beans I could find. I'm going to grind them up, I'm going to use the manual hand presso and I'm going to make a lovely coffee out in the woods with Baxter. I've also brought my hammock so I can relax in the hammock and uh, spend half an hour or so, maybe even an hour, just being mindful, listening to the sounds of nature and the noise of this dog. Baxter! You are literally dripping spit all over me, dude. There's a ton of these little tiny flies. They look a little bit like ticks, but they're not because they've got wings. So, but do you want some water? That's what you get when you chase squirrels all around the woods, dude. Ooh, gunshot. And well, that works well, back. Sandwich bag is a water bowl for a puppy. He says, yes, but I can't breathe when my nose is in it, Daddy. This is not recommended. <laughs> Get your breath back, Pops. There you go. That's enough. A bit better. Good boy. <laughs> You're getting attacked as well, Bax. It's bloody weird. It's like, they're flies, I'm sure of it, but they're just swarming and they're falling like ticks. As soon as you touch a branch, they're just dropping on you. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> it's creeping me out a little bit, I'll be honest. Oh, I'm glad the basket's in there. What the papa? No. Oh, go on. As always guys, before you use any manual portable espresso machine, you just want to pre-warm it and pre-warm your cup as well.
Right guys, whatever portable espresso machine you're using, that is a perfect example of why you need to dial in your own method because that extraction was way too quick. The reason for that is the grind was probably too coarse. That grind I think was, um, the last time I used it was for a V60. The Hario mill needs to be turned at least another two cranks uh, to really get that grind finer because that's one thing the hand presso does do is take a very fine grind. It's still going to taste nice but it's obviously um, it extracted way too quickly. I'm just going to add some water with it and turn it into an Americano then it won't matter so much. Anyway guys it's not just about the coffee like I've said before it's about getting outdoors. Now Let's get in the hammock, shall we? Hello, pups. This is in two now, Doctor. These bugs, guys, are testing me. Oh, wow, there's a massive one here. This must be the daddy bug. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Let me tell you my thought process on getting outdoors in the woods to drink coffee. Bax, you're in my shop. Come on, hug her off. It doesn't matter how good your, the coffee is that you're drinking. If you're drinking it at home or in your local coffee shop, even if it's an amazing coffee, it's just going to get forgotten. And the reason for that is there's science behind it. Is as you get older, if you do the same thing every day, your brain just wipes over it like loops over it because there's nothing new there's no new information for it to retain like you get up you brush your teeth you have your breakfast you drink a coffee you go to work blah 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 but when you do something that's different like coming out to the woods you're absorbing so much um, detail so much information about your surroundings and your brain just sucks it in like a dry sponge no a wet sponge Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is you make yourself a decent coffee uh, and you do it in a place where your brain wants to absorb that information and keep it, you're going to remember it. But it's the whole package, guys. So for all you that got to the end of this video, um, thank you very much. Some of you like the um, woodland part, so I thought I'd make the effort and do it for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you soon, guys.